St. Louis considers itself to be a very Irish town. I guess technically it's French, but today we're Irish. Anyways, we thought it might be interesting to find out what St. Louisans know about the history of St. Patrick's Day. This ought to be good. Uh, St. Patrick was A, Irish, B, born in Wales, or C, uh, a defenseman for the St. Louis Steamers back in the 80s. Mim, don't stop eating, okay? okay. <laughs> just just g continue to eat, relax, okay? Ireland. You're wrong, Pat. You, you own an Irish bar. You own the Irish bar here, uh, one of the top Irish bars here in St. Louis, and, and, and you don't even know your Irish heritage. I th but I think England. England. I, I'm going to say England. Well, it's Wales, I think. I stand corrected. It's not Wales. It's Britain. The Internet has lied to me. March 17th is the day that St. Patrick, A, died, B, was born, or C, it's just a date that people in St. Louis made up so they could drink a lot. Take your time. I think it's the day he was born. Anybody else? Could it be the day he became a saint? Whatever goes. Everything. You're trouble, ma'am. You're trouble, and I don't like it. He died. He died on March 17th. What year was St. Patrick born? Beats me. But the time of day right now is 2.30. Uh, uh, Got to get back to those custom trees and lawns? That's right. Do you give your employees the day off at Custom Tree and Lawn for St. Patrick's Day? No. Well, go bother them. The Blarney Stone uh, is located in Northern Ireland, Southern Ireland, or Granite City? Northern Ireland. <laughs> my, my crack, my crack uh, research staff is betraying me here. This is what Great Day St. Louis, this is their whole re research staff right here. Th this thing. Uh, it looks like uh, Barbie's My First Phone. What's that on your hand? Tattoo, fake tattoo. How do you feel about your son's tattoo, ma'am? I don't like it. I just seen it when I picked him up today. Um, I was a little outraged when he came out of school with it on. Now, is he going back to school? No, they get out early on Mondays. Yeah, of course, they get out early on Mondays at Cardinal Ritter. That's tattoo day, apparently. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> what does the shamrock uh, uh, signify? Prosperity and wealth and something else. I think that's completely wrong, but he sold it really well. Like he actually, he, he thought about it for a while and then he, and he used big words. Some of them I didn't even understand. Well, I think we've uncovered some pretty important information here today. Number one, Monday is tattoo day at Cardinal Ritter High School. Number two, custom tree and lawn is a very demanding place to work. And number three, if your name is Pat and you own an Irish bar, that doesn't mean that you'd know anything about the Irish. I'm Greg Warren for Great Day St. Louis. I'll see you on Cinco de Mayo from some Mexican restaurant where nobody knows anything about the Mexicans. Good night.